This is a full walkthrough of Botany Manor, including all puzzle solutions, collectibles, and achievements slash trophies. As always, timestamps will be down in the description just below those like and subscribe buttons, wink wink. Each chapter will be broken into exploration, finding the seeds and clues, and then growing each plant. So you can hop around if you want to, or just follow along from start to finish to get everything in the game. I'll be in and out of the video with commentary as necessary, so let's do this. So this is our first plant that we need to grow. This is going to be the windmill wart. And to start off, we can put the soil into our pot, put the seed into the pot, and then water it. Then we need to find the three clues in this room in order to actually grow it. So we'll go ahead and grab those three clues now. With all of our clues found, we can go ahead and grab our seedling and we're going to want to place it on the plate in front of the heater. And then we want to make sure that the heater is turned up to 60 degrees Celsius before turning it on in order to grow our first plant.
Before progressing forward, we want to go ahead and grow two more of those windmill warts, as these are the easiest plants to grow in the game, and we'll be unlocking an achievement slash trophy for growing the same plant three times. Additionally, you want to throw away a fully grown plant in the compost bin for another achievement slash trophy, so we're going to be doing both of those right here. Now we can progress out of the starting area, but as soon as we exit this building, we want to turn right and head to the park bench and then sit on it. We will get an achievement slash trophy for doing this, and then you want to continue sitting on it for a minute for another achievement slash trophy. Now we can stand up and continue forward. We're going to head towards the main gate to the manor, which is currently locked. Before unlocking it and before grabbing the key to unlock it, we want to interact with it in order to shake it and unlock another achievement slash trophy.
So as mentioned at the start of the video, the first thing we're going to do in each chapter is explore the area that we've unlocked. We're going to find keys, unlock extra areas, that kind of thing. And then we'll backtrack to grab seeds and clues and then grow the plants that we need to to progress the story. So now with all of our exploration done, we're first going to grab all of the clues for the Fulguria.
Also in the living room, make sure you interact with the harpsichord for an achievement slash trophy. With the Fulgurias clues done, we're going to work on the Ash Plums clues next. Now it's time to grow another plant. This one's going to be the Fulguria first, so make sure that you put potting soil in and then the seed itself, and then you want to water it. And then we need to do the puzzle of this plant. And for this plant, we actually need to take a photograph of it in order for it to grow. But there's an extra achievement slash trophy that we can get for the photograph itself. So once we come over here in order to put the plant down, we need to put together a number of chemicals in the next room over in order to actually take the picture. But before doing the correct combination, I'm just going to put in three splashes of phosphor and then use that to take the picture for the boom achievement slash trophy. Now for the actual solution, we're going to add two splashes of potassium and one splash of magnesium. 
then we want to use that in order to take the picture of the fulgaria to make it bloom. Now every flower that we bloom we want to bring back to the flower room at the front of the manor and place on a plate. There are a bunch of plates in this room and at the end of the game we should fill up this entire room for another achievement slash trophy. Now it's time for the ash plum. Again we're going to place our pot, fill it with soil, add the seed, and then add the water. And then we want to take this into the kitchen and place it on the frying pan so that it heats up. Doing this will cause an achievement slash trophy to pop, however we are not done with this plant yet as it has not bloomed. Next we need to take it outside and into the smokery, there's going to be a plate in here for us to place it on, and then we need to come back outside and grab specifically an oak log. None of the other types of wood will work, so grab the oak log, place it in the fire pit in here, and then your plant will bloom. Now before taking this to the flower room to add it with our other plants, we want to actually head back into the living room and take a picture of this plant. There is an achievement slash trophy for taking a picture of any of the other plants except for the fulguria. So we're just going to use this one here. Once again, you will need to make that same chemical concoction of the two splashes of potassium and one splash of magnesium. Then we can bring this plant back to the flower room.
While exploring the house in Chapter 3, there's two things we want to make sure we do. Here in the painting room, make sure that you interact with the painting in the center. We need to interact with all of the paintings in the game, all of the interactable ones, for an achievement slash trophy. Then come through the kitchen and into the cupboard, and we need to put in a code using these weights. So the code is 1593, so 1593. I believe this is supposed to be the date that the house was built. This is going to open up a secret passage, and heading through will unlock another achievement slash trophy for us. The exit from this secret room is going to open up into the orangery, and we should notice a packet of seeds right here which we can pick up. We'll be using these in a little while, but the main thing that we want to do in this room is interact with the wooden planks next to the broken staircase in order to fix the staircase for another achievement slash trophy. Then we can head back outside to find the pixie tears seeds and the pixie tear clues so that we can eventually grow that plant. So that is all of the Pixie Tears clues, and now we're going to grab all of the Wolf's Grove clues, and then we'll start to grow both of those plants.
Now we're going to grow the pixie tears and for this one we want to add the seed and the soil and water just like all of the others and then we're going to take it into the back room of the orchard over here to the crush. Specifically we're going to need to crush three different types of apples into the plant. There is a chart on the wall that we can use to find the matching apples. We need to find the knobbly russet, cat's head, and merlin's mist apples. Add one of each to the crusher and then crush them. This will cause the plant to bloom. After the plant blooms, we can leave it for now and work on the wolf glove next in this area as well. For the wolf's glove, again, we're going to use soil, then seed, and then water, just like all of the other ones. And then we're going to head into the old tower that we visited earlier on during exploration. Once we get in there, we'll recognize that it's actually an elevator and we can ride it up to the different floors. On each floor, we're going to need to open the windows in a specific way. So make sure that you just follow along with what I'm doing on screen and do exactly what I do. At the very end, after your flower blooms, make sure that you ride it all the way up to the top of the tower for an extra achievement slash trophy.
with that out of the way, we can return both of the flowers to the flower room. To start up chapter 4, we need to unlock this door upstairs, and the code is E-A-H. There is a secret room to find in the library. If we number these from left to right, one, two, three, four, five, we're going to be pressing them in the order of three, two, five, four, one. We will get an achievement slash trophy for opening this up and make sure that you interact with all the paintings in this room as they count towards our other achievement slash trophy. Opening up the study, you'll be able to find these sapphire gloom seeds, and we actually need to grow this plant in order to progress in chapter four. So at this point, we're now going to work on finding the clues for this plant and then growing it.
the sapphire gloom is super simple to grow. All we need to do is use our soil, seed, and then water, just like all the other plants. And then we're going to place it on the plate in the main entrance of the manor, right next to the rotting tree, and this will grow the plant for us. Don't forget to put it in your flower room. Now that we're done with exploration, we're going to go back upstairs and through this area in order to find all of the clues for the nightfall plant first. For nightfall, we're going to add soil, seed, and water, just like all the others, and then we're going to bring it up to the attic and put it in front of the light projector.
So the puzzle here is figuring out the order of the colors, and that is blue, yellow, orange, red. And then once you let the machine run, this plant will bloom and we can bring it down to the flower room. Back at the flower room, now we're going to head through and grab all of the clues for the cradle fern plant. Once again, for this plant, we're going to use our pot, fill it with soil, add a seed, and add some water, and then we're going to bring it up to the bell tower where we saw all those bells with the different musical notes. So the puzzle here is pretty simple, we just need to ring the bells in the correct order, and so that order is E, C, D, E, G, F. You can just follow what I do on screen, and then once we're done with blooming this flower, we can bring it down to our flower room. We're going to head back upstairs once again, and this time we're going to grab all of the clues for the Brook Chalice.
After finding all the clues, there are two achievement slash trophies we can get in this bathroom. First, one is for flushing the toilet. That will pop an achievement slash trophy. And then the second one, we need to take all of these red pipes that are lying around the room and use them to reconnect the pipe system in here. We're going to need to do this anyways in order to bloom the plant, the brook chalice, but we might as well just do it now since we're here anyways. For the brook chalice, once again, we're going to take our pot, fill it with soil, add the seed, and then water it, and then we want to put it in that bathtub back in the bathroom. Before pouring in the water, we need to adjust the temperature so that it is 25 degrees Celsius, and then we're going to need to head up into the attic and grab the rusty pig off of the table up there and put it in the bath with the plant in order to bloom it.
Entering into the formal garden with the key that we just received, we'll start chapter 5 and we can begin by exploring this area. As you walk past the pond, you should notice this lawnmower here and right next to it a little handle that you can pick up. We're going to grab that and go back over to the grotto where we can fill it with water and then we'll be able to actually walk across that area for another achievement slash trophy. We're going to need to do this for a puzzle a little bit later on anyway, but we can just get the achievement slash trophy out of the way right now. Also near the pond is another painting. Make sure that you interact with this one for your achievement slash trophy, assuming you've interacted with all the others. Now that we've explored everything, we're going to head back and grab the Spring Dance Shrub's seeds as well as all of its clues.
In the gardener's supplies, we need to grab the sandstone pot, and we're specifically going to use that pot for this plant, otherwise it will not grow correctly. So we're going to head over to a potting station now, and we're going to once again fill it with soil, the seed, and then water. And then we're going to go back over to the gardener's supplies, and we're going to notice a bunch of different items that we can use. We're going to want to use the seaweed to add a splash to our plant. After placing the plant in the bird garden, we need to bring the bird over here. So we're going to grab the bird cage that has all of the food in it, and we're going to basically use that to lure it over here. The only thing is, you cannot be too close to the bird, or it will fly back to its original starting location and you'll have to start over again. So every time that you place this down, you want to make sure that you back away very quickly so that the bird doesn't get startled by you. Thank 
With this plant complete, we can head back to the flower room and then we're going to work on the Fool's Emerald plant and its clues. With the clues done for that plant, we can get another achievement slash trophy here with the Morse code machine, the telegraph. We need to put in SOS, so that's just three dots followed by three dashes followed by three dots. So just do what I do for another achievement slash trophy. For the Fool's Emerald, once again, we're going to fill the pot with soil, then the seed, and then water. And we're going to walk it over to the grotto that we opened up early on. That's the area where we were able to walk across the water. And we're going to place it in that little cave in that area. And then we need to come back and grab the telegraph, the Morse code machine, and bring that into the cave as well.
with the machine in here. The code is super simple. All we need to do is dash dot dash dot dash. So just keep alternating between the two until your plant grows. After bringing that back to the flower room, we have one more plant to grow for the game, and this one is the Ocelet, or Ocelletti, I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to be grabbing the clues for it and the seeds right now. For our final plant, we need to fill the pot up with soil and add the seed, but do not water this one. This is the only one that we do not need to water. Then we're going to head back into the boathouse, put it next to the gramophone, and then we need to play the record that says that it is 120 beats per minute. So you just want to look at the different record cases until you find the one that says 120 beats. Once you play that song, the final plant will bloom and again make sure that you bring it back to the flower room.
Now before going to the gatehouse to finish the game, we're going to head through the house one last time to collect all of the collectible ducks. There are five in total. The first one will pop an achievement slash trophy for you, and then collecting all of them will pop another achievement slash trophy. Now you should have unlocked everything except the ending of the game, so head to the post box in order to start the credits, and then after the credits, which you can skip if you want, you'll play through the epilogue and your final achievement slash trophy will pop. 